for new life to emerge, then there needs to be death. This is the principles of the seasons, things rotting in the autumn and coming back to life in the spring. It is the principle of a carcass decomposing and giving life to new flowers, to insects and eventually becoming food for new generations of animals. And this was a principle that became very clear for me back in 2013 when I was really at the, the depths of my chronic fatigue journey and uh, all of my willfulness, all of my egoic patterns were just collapsing all over the place. And it got to the point where I sat with a friend in a restaurant and I just looked him in the eye and um, I just felt weak and despondent and just said, I don't know that I will make it through this that I, I might die. And I think that was an exaggeration for maybe a bit of dramatic effect in that moment. But, um, but I really did touch death. And it was through this process that um, Reclaiming a Throne became a new initiation for men around the world. And it is remarkable how something beautiful, something powerful, something novel can grow out of our complete and total surrender of actually letting go of, of, of dying. And uh, this, this is my medicine and sometimes it's a bitter pill to swallow because over these last many months, years, I've been living somewhere between idealism and realism and have held on to idealism and been thinking of the new and more beautiful world and not fully, not fully feeling, embodying the insight that in order for us to go there, this world has to die. Because that's the whole principle of death and rebirth. And exactly what that death looks like is hard to say. It's hard to say, but it certainly is going to lead to a multipolar world with decentralization, more self-sufficiency, no empires in the same way anymore, new financial systems, new ways of organizing into tribes and villages. And I think it's going to be beautiful. And as human beings, we haven't been ready to make that step without suffering. And now we really are five minutes to midnight. And people are talking about nuclear war and being quite serious about it. And Putin himself, he is talking about nuclear war and being quite serious about it. Everyone is beating the war drum, NATO is beating the war drum, pro provoking everything in Ukraine is looking really shitty. Um, and so it's easy then to like, oh, I want to help. I want to make sure that things uh, turn out well and then go into this rescuer pattern that actually enables me to bypass my own fear and anxiety and worries and there is no real empowerment from this place. There is no real peace from this place. People going to war to shoot somebody's son or you know husband thinking that they're helping somebody. This is an outmoded way of being. It's not gonna work anymore. It's not gonna fly. So this is the last round. This is the last dance. The last dance with this. And I think we're gonna be okay eventually. But in my heart, over these last several days, I have grieved the loss of everything that I have come to know growing up in Norway, in the West. Because we cannot save it. And it's actually not meant to be saved. And this is the principle of initiation. And I'm happy to see how many men have done Reclaim Minas Ron really get this and now have an ability to see through the bullshit happening in the world. Not feeling quite so victimized by it, but finding more acceptance, more understanding, more insight. And um, while well, we have another round coming up on March 28th, I would love for you to join. Ruben is standing by to take your calls and spend half an hour with you. Um, I think it'd be an amazing time to do this work. 
But for me, it's, it's, it's humbling <laughs> to swallow my own medicine yet again. And I just wanted to share from my heart to yours that I think this will be good for you as well. Because there is a sense of liberation that comes from just accepting what things are without trying to sugarcoat it. And I had to have support to get to this place because I have this visionary side inside of me. And even, even with Reclaiming the Throne being an initiation and we have this powerful, powerful alchemical ritual inside of Reclaiming the Throne called Seeds of Sanctuary, which is all about building the new timeline of the new and more beautiful world. At the beginning of that timeline, there's a death. You actually die and you decompose and you become soil for the tree of life. And that is the process we're in. That is the process we're in. So, grief, that's, that's the key. That's the key to getting through this. Because we are dying, this form of civilization. And when we grieve that, and get real with that, and we rinse ourselves with the purifying tears, then now we're ready to actually stand for something new. And I'm starting to feel renewed by this myself, and I wanted to give that to you as something to take on board, as maybe just an inquiry, but maybe also as a practice in these coming weeks, because things aren't looking good, man. They just aren't. And that's the reality. That's the reality and acceptance brings power and opens our hearts. Whatever comes after that, we will experience that in due time. But first, there needs to be acceptance. So with that little message, I don't know if it's a motivational message or not, but it's a beautiful message. It's a true message I think you'll find. And I hope you have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you in the next video and uh, yeah, much love to you.